Hello, and welcome once again to Lato's Law. I'm Steve Lato, attorney at Law in the State of Michigan. I've been practicing law for 26 years in the fields of consumer protection and lemon law. I often write about this stuff and have written a few books as well. So today we're going to talk about, is your phone spying on you? Is your phone spying on you? I'm convinced my phone is spying on me. And I'm not just a crazy conspiracy theorist. <laughs> Trust me, that's harder to say than you think. Crazy conspiracy theorist. I am convinced that my phone, a, a Pixel 2 Android device, is spying on me, and I'll explain to you why and how I believe that to be true. But to understand this, let's back up and understand how the modern world works. And by that, I mean the internet. And uh, many of you may have noticed that you get targeted ads thrown at you on the internet. And the best example I give you is one from my own personal life. A couple of years ago, I, uh, I, I chipped a tooth, okay? One of my teeth inside my mouth, I chipped it. And I was actually on the Facebook at the time, chatting with a friend of mine, and I, and I commented and said, oh my gosh, I can't believe, I think I just chipped a tooth. And I went in the bathroom, looked in the mirror, sure enough, chipped tooth. I'm like beside myself, because I have to go to the dentist, and we know how much I like dentists. So I then went back, and as I continued this discussion with a friend of mine, I started getting ads popping up on the side of Facebook, advertising local dentists. Now, I know why that happened, <clears throat> okay? It's not, the, it's not the biggest mystery on earth. Facebook goes through all of your comments, your posts, your discussions, and, and, and your messages and looks for keywords. And then they have advertisers who want to advertise to people who have a need for dentistry. They would then put an ad up on the side. And I started getting ads on the side of my Facebook page targeting dentists, local dentists who thought I you know, might need their help. Gee, I wonder why. Okay, so... I see this, and I completely understand this. And I remember jokingly saying to my friend, you know, now that that dental thing is behind me, I really should start shopping for women's lingerie, Victoria's Secret perhaps, bras, panties, and thongs. And sure enough, I then start getting those inside of my computer, which I'd rather have those up than pictures of other people's dental problems. Okay? So, <laughs> you can actually work with this to some extent if you, if you want to change what you're seeing in the sides of your Facebook feed and so on. But this is true in other settings, okay? And so you'll notice that once in a while when you're on the internet, you'll get targeted ads popping up on other sites. And, and you know, if, if, you know, for instance, if you go to Amazon and you're looking at an item on Amazon but you don't buy it, sometimes you'll go to another website and an ad will pop up offering to sell you the thing you were just looking at on Amazon. And so a lot of these sites are obviously working with each other trying to hook you up with stuff. But here's where this story gets really, really weird and really, really key, creepy kind of quickly. <laughs> Might not seem like to you, but it does to me. So the other day, I'm with a group of people, and I'm introduced to somebody, okay? The person I'm introduced to looks familiar to me, and I cannot figure out why. And I'm thinking to myself, why do I think I know this person, okay? I'm horrible with names. The name meant nothing to me. I'm horrible with names. But I'm pretty good with faces. So I'm, I'm looking at this person and I'm, I'm thinking, there's, there's got to be a moment when I met this person previously because their face looks familiar to me. I know I've met this person before. So I turned to a friend of mine who knows this person also and I said, I'm curious, why do I think I know this person? I, I, I have to know, I, I've seen them before. And my friend says, oh, we bumped into her at Cold Stone Creamery. I don't know if she said creamery, but she said Cold Stone. And I thought back to myself, I'm like, oh, you're right. I, I was introduced to this person at a Cold Stone Creamery. Now, you might not know this. Cold Stone Creamery, I'm not sure if it's nationwide or if it's regional, but it's a gourmet ice cream shop. They sell really, really good ice cream. Now, I know they have them in a couple different states, but... We have them here in Michigan. I know they're in Florida. I know they're in a few other places. But the point is that <clears throat> I said, you're right. I met this person at Cold Stone. So a few minutes later, I walked over to this person. I said, by the way, do you realize that you and I have met before? She looks at me and she said, I, I, really? I said, yeah, I met you at Cold Stone. And she said, you're right. I met you at Cold Stone. So this entire conversation is taking place with my cell phone in my, in my shirt pocket. And I can tell you right now, 
prior to that conversation, I had not said the words Cold Stone Creamery out loud probably in six months, maybe a year. If I'd said them at all, I don't know. But number two, <clears throat> the Cold Stone Creamery where I had met this person closed. It doesn't exist anymore. And there's a reason that that's important. I'll get to you in a second. So that evening, I come home. <clears throat> don't turn on my computer. The next morning, I turn on my computer. <clears throat> I go to visit the Daily Mail, <laughs> the source of all my news. <laughs> I'm just joking. But I did go to the Daily Mail. And the Daily Mail has got banner ads down the sides, <clears throat> which are often targeted. And as I scroll down, I see an ad for Cold Stone Creamery. Okay, now, I've already told you, I mentioned Cold Stone Creamery several times in a conversation the evening before, but I haven't been to a Cold Stone Creamery in maybe a year, half a year. I haven't mentioned Cold Stone Creamery, I haven't texted Cold Stone Creamery, I haven't commented on it on Facebook, I haven't messaged it to anybody, I haven't texted it to anybody, it has not been in the contents of any of my emails. So the only intersection between my life and the concept of Cold Stone Creamery was a discussion I had out loud the evening before between me and two other people. The words Cold Stone and Creamery were bandied about for about 30 seconds. Now, when I saw the ad for Cold Stone Creamery pop up on my, on my, on my internet, my first thought was, wow, that can't be a coincidence, okay? It's got to be targeting adver targeted advertising. And so I thought to myself, I wonder if that's possible, because it would have to mean that my phone heard the words and recognized that as something that they could target an ad at. So I went onto the internet, and I typed in, is my phone eavesdropping on me? I did a couple different variations on that, but I also specified Pixel 2, because Pixel 2 is a particular type of phone. It's not an iPhone, for instance. And, and the interesting thing is the internet is mixed on this. There are websites that will tell you that your phone is absolutely spying on you. There are other websites that say, no, this is absolutely not happening, okay? And one of the websites I found, which came across kind of like an apologist for Google, basically said, look, your phone is listening for certain things because it has to if you've got the OK Google app running. And OK Google is the app where you can actually just look at your phone and get, OK Google, you know, find me the nearest Cold Stone Creamery. And Google will go to work on that and give you an answer on your screen without you having to type in anything. At least that's how it's supposed to work. I don't know. I never used it. But I realized that I, I do have it on my phone and it was enabled. Okay? So my, my microphone on my cell phone was enabled to listen for the trigger words, OK Google. Never, did, never done that. Uh, but but apparently it was it was set set up that way. But on the website where it says this absolutely does not happen, you do not need to worry about this. The guy says it would take up too much time and memory for Google to to be listening constantly to all of your conversations, hoping to hear you say something good. But we've also heard stories about how the you know some of these companies have been caught recording conversations uh, and 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 downloading a lot of information about you. But the problem I have with that simple explanation is this. I'm not saying that they'd have to be listening constantly for every single word you say. They're just simply listening for certain keywords, like maybe a list of their advertisers, okay? And they don't have to record everything you say. They can just listen until they hear a keyword and then make a note. Oh, this person just mentioned this particular brand or something, okay? So the argument that it takes up too much memory, I think, is, is wrong. Now... Another argument they say is, well, they can't do that because it's contrary to their terms of service. I'll admit, I did not go and read the terms of service for any of these things because I don't know who's doing it, first of all. I'm suspecting it would be Google, but it might not be. But number two, the terms of service are probably too long to be read by a human being in this lifetime. So I, I didn't do that. But we've also learned the last few years that we can't trust the internet. I mean, Facebook was supposed to be protecting our data. <laughs> and we know how that worked out. So the idea that they're not doing it because they're not allowed to, I don't buy it. That they're not doing it because it takes up too much memory, I don't buy it. Uh, I personally think that they are doing it and they've got the program running, listening for keywords. And when they hear a keyword pop up, they make a mental note or they make an actual note and say, hey, uh, Steve Leto just mentioned Cold Stone. That's one of our advertisers. Next time he's on the internet, start throwing Cold Stone ads at him to remind him that we exist. Now, what's funny is, the guy who wrote one of the articles I read said, you know, you people are just paranoid. He said, you just don't understand that 
they've been throwing ads at you all the time, and you didn't notice it until it just happened to be a coincidence of an ad corresponding with something you mentioned recently in your life. And I buy that for a second, but he then says, and many of the ads are targeted at you for other reasons. In other words, you know, somehow <clears throat> they, they recognize the demographic you're in, and the demographic you're in is likely to be the same demographic of people who shop at Cold Stone. So therefore, they just happen to put these two things together, and they just happen to have guessed that well that it turned out like that. Well, there's a problem with that because the Cold Stone I mentioned earlier closed. It doesn't even exist anymore. And I'd have to drive even further to get to a Cold Stone. So the odds, I think, of a company that's closed the store nearest to me uh, then just coincidentally decides to start throwing ads at me uh, about, about stores that are even farther away doesn't seem quite right to me. So I personally think that Google or other nefarious people are, in fact, listening in on your phone conversations or conversations taking place near your phone, okay? So my phone was not on. It wasn't during the phone conversation. It was literally listening in just to the surroundings around the phone. Now, here's the thing. You might think I'm still crazy. That's fine. <laughs> Join the club. But there's a very simple solution to this. You can go into the app settings on your phone and look up the various apps that are on there, including Google. You go onto Google, and you go into the apps, and you look up permissions. And under permissions, one of the things it says is, you know, do we have permission to use your microphone? Turn it off, okay? Now, I did that the other day, and it'll be interesting to see if I get any more Cold Stone ads. Uh, but the point is that the only thing I'm losing by turning off that microphone is I'm losing the OK Google functionality, which I wasn't using anyways. So if you're not using OK Google or voice commands in Google or whatever that thing is, go ahead in there and turn off the microphone. And the other thing I've always been fascinated by is how often you load apps into your phone and it'll say, do we have permission to use your microphone? Do we have permission to use your camera? Do we have permission to go through your contacts? And I always say no, 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 no to all that stuff. Now, the Google was preloaded on my phone, and I got it because it's a Pixel, and I think Pixel comes from Google or something. <laughs> Who knows these days? But the point is that the microphone had been turned on when I got the phone, uh, so I turned the microphone off. So the question now will be to see whether or not I start getting any targeted ads of any sort uh, based on uh, anything else. Uh, we'll see. I, like I said, I already know I'm going to get targeted ads based on Facebook and Messenger and so on. Um, I know people who use Gmail accounts. I don't use a Gmail account. I actually have an actual account that I use through my uh, various websites. But I know people who have Gmail accounts, and Google will tell you right in the terms of service that, that they're going to you know, scroll through your emails looking for keywords and then put ads up for you, uh, probably on the Gmail page itself, but then also any place else you go that's tied in with the Google system. So it's all one big interconnected web, which I think is why they call it that. So the point is that I believe that my phone was spying on me. There's no possible other explanation other than like it's the one in a billion shot that I mentioned Cold Stone Creamery for the first time out loud in like six months or a year. And the very next day, I start getting targeted ads for Cold Stone Creamery. Um, <clears throat> there's no other explanation for that. Now, if you just think, hey, Steve, that's just a weird, weird coincidence, like getting struck by lightning twice in one day or something, and, and, you, and you're convinced of that, fine live your life like that. But in my mind, it's easier just to go in and shut the microphone off uh, in Google. And I checked a couple other apps as well. And I, why, why would this app need a microphone? So I shut the microphone off in a couple other apps as well. I would recommend you do the same thing unless you like getting ads targeted at you based on things you've said to people. But I, I find it kind of creepy that my phone was listening to me and I'm convinced it was true. So that is the concept. Is your phone spying on you? I think it is. I know mine's spying on me. <laughs> not the toaster, not the microwave, but my phone. Questions or comments is always shooting my way. Latoslaw.com, L-E-H-T-O-S-L-A-W.com. I'm on Twitter, at Steve Leto, S-T-E-V-E-L-E-H-T-O. And this show is on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Podbean, Google Play, and YouTube. Thanks for watching and listening. Bye-bye.